Dear student, today we are going to perform the live experiment of Colpitt's oscillator with complete explanation. Colpitt oscillator basically a most common type of LC oscillator and it is used for radio frequency application. It is a high frequency of oscillator consisting of LC tank circuit. So uh, this is the experiment study the Colpitt's oscillator and observe the effect of variation in RNC on oscillator frequency. So here this is your experiment. This is the aim, study the Colpitt's oscillator and observe the effect of variation in R and C on oscillator frequency. The apparatus uh, are required here, first one is analog board, second one is DC power supply plus 12 volt from external source, CRO is also required to uh, check the output result and uh, two mm patch cords are required in this experiment this is the theory uh, basically uh, the colpit oscillator invented invented in 1918 by the american engineer edwin h colpits it is another type of sinusoidal lc oscillator and it is basically harmonic oscillator which has a lot of application the colpit oscillator can be uh, realized using valves transistor FET means field effect transistor or op-amp means this is operational amplifier so you can design the culpit uh, oscillator with the uh, using these active elements like transistor FET op-amp etc so these are the active element and uh, with the help of some passive uh, components like register capacitor etc you can design the culpit oscillator so here we are going to, uh, to perform uh, this experiment using uh, transistor. So this is the theory of the culpit oscillator when the power supply plus VCC is given to the circuit. So uh, this is your culpit oscillator circuitry and here this is the transistor and uh, these are the register. Uh, R1 and R2. This is another register here. This is the RC register. This one is another register. This is emitter register RE. This is uh, the capacitor and uh, this is this one is another capacitor C in uh, and this is uh, the output capacitor and uh, this is your tank circuit. So in culpit oscillator we are using the combination of here C1 and C2 and L. So uh, it formed the tank circuitry in the culpit oscillator. So over here in this circuitry, this is uh, these register R1 and R2 are used uh, for uh, gives a voltage divider biasing to the transistor. And here RC is used to limit the collector current IC of the transistor and uh, this is the RE register this is emitter register and it means for thermal stability and uh, these are the capacitor CI and C out are uh, the input output DC coupling capacitor and uh, this one is your emitter bypass capacitor CE and it is used to bypass the amplified AC signals from dropping across RE and here uh, this is your tank circuit so frequency of oscillations are determined by the value of L and C in the tank circuit so uh, this is your circuit of the pulpit oscillator and here how uh, this circuitry uh, is work so uh, when the power supply plus VCC is given to the circuit transistor is turned on so here if you are applying the power supply plus VCC then your uh, transistor will be turned on and uh, by the small noise voltage as a biasing voltage so it uh, causes the collector current 
IC flows through the tank circuit. This provides the starting voltage of oscillations and hence the capacitor C1 and C2 starts charging. Once these capacitors C1 and C2 are fully charged, they start discharging through the inductor L in the tank circuitry by settling up damped oscillations in the tank circuit. Therefore, an AC voltage is developed across the capacitor C1 and C2. The oscillations across the capacitors uh, are applied to the transistor at the base emitter junction. So these oscillations are amplified and phase shifted in the transistor amplifier. Thus, at the amplifier output, sustained undamped oscillations are produced. So over here, because as you know that all the oscillators are based on the uh, Barkusen criteria. So uh, uh, in oscillator, the basic uh, principle is uh, the total phase shift will be required that will be 360 degree. So how uh, it is possible in this circuitry? So uh, in culprit oscillator, the transistor itself produces 180 degree phase shift and uh, the tank circuit uh, in uh, we, can, we have already discussed over here uh, in this circuitry this is your tank circuit so uh, this tank circuit basically um, work as a feedback network over here and this is your transistor and uh, this transistor circuitry is provided over here 180 degree phase shift and this tank circuit is also provide the 180 degree phase shift so the total uh, phase shift will be 360 degree so according to the barkusen criteria the condition is fulfilled over here and uh, uh, the total phase shift is 360 degrees. So it is a necessary condition of positive feedback for maintaining the sustained oscillation condition. So uh, this is the basic condition and uh, the resonant uh, frequency or we can say oscillation frequency uh, in case of culprit oscillator uh, uh, is calculated by using this formula. So uh, the re resonant frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root under LC equivalent. So over here C equivalent is equal to C1 upon C2 upon C1 plus C2. So this is the um, analog board circuit diagram of the culprit oscillator and uh, we will uh, connect all the uh, circuit connection uh, as you can see over here according to the uh, procedure given over here this is the procedure uh, to perform the uh, experiment of the culprit oscillator so uh, first uh, one is the connect plus 12 volt DC power supply at the air indicated position from external source then second one is connect a patch cord between points A and B and between points D and G1 and then connect the another patch cords between points F and H and between point G and T1 and then switch on the power supply then uh, check your output results on the CRO and uh, calculate the resonant frequency. So over here you have to calculate the theoretical frequency as well as practical frequency. So uh, first you have to calculate the uh, theoretical frequency using this formula. So according to this formula your uh, theoretical frequency is this one. FR is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root under LC equivalent. So here um, this is your theoretical frequency after uh, putting uh, the all the values uh, in this formula. So uh, after calculating the resonant frequency will be equal to 1.186 megahertz. So this is your theoretical frequency. Now. Uh, perform the experiment using the analog board. So he, over here we can perform the experiment of the so here this is your culprit oscillator circuitry 
and here you have to connect the 12 volt supply uh, as given over here and ground terminal also then you have to connect the points A and B and patch code between A and B like this and then connect the patch codes between D and G1 so over here uh, these points are given so you have to connect uh, the patch codes as given in the procedure so these patch codes connect over here between F and H and between G and T1 and then you have to connect the BNC to crocodile probe between CRO and the output and ground terminal so over here this is your ground terminal and this is your output so now connect the circuitry and switch on the supply and as you can see over here this is your output waveform this is your CRO so calculate uh, according to the time period according to this uh, output waveform so this is your perfect output waveform and uh, here this is the uh, you have to calculate the uh, time period so this is your here the distance is uh, 1.8 microsecond over here so you can calculate the total time period So uh, uh, here now according to this uh, experiment you can calculate the uh, practical frequency so over here uh, the horizontal distance on screen so uh, using uh, the output waveform you have to calculate the total time period t so it will be equal to 1.8 microsecond because the time base uh, setting uh, is equal to 1 microsecond so over here the total time period t is equal to 1.8 microsecond so uh, now calculate the practical frequency so as you know that the frequency is also equal to 1 upon t so uh, this is equal to 1 upon t is 1.8 microsecond so uh, this is 1 upon 1.8 microsecond so after calculating uh, your practical frequency will be equal to 0.555 megahertz so this is your practical frequency so now you have to uh, calculate over here uh, the percentage error between the theoretical frequency and practical frequency so uh, how to calculate the percentage error you can calculate the percentage error using this formula and uh, the formula is uh, percentage error equal to theoretical frequency minus practical frequency upon theoretical frequency into 100 percent so here uh, this is equal to uh, the theoretical frequency is 1.186 so we have already calculated over here this is your theoretical frequency uh, 1.186 megahertz so this is your theoretical frequency minus practical frequency is 0.555 megahertz upon theoretical frequency again 1.186 so after calculating uh, the percentage error will be over here 52.53.2 percent so this is your percentage error so according to this procedure you can uh, perform uh, the culpit oscillator using uh, the transistor circuitry and uh, you can also design your culpit oscillator with the help of operational amplifier and uh, FET etc thank you for watching